again YouTube it is the hidden artifacts channel back again for episode 7 today is a little bit special because we are actually going to be experiencing an eclipse total solar eclipse here in the United States uh, this is the uh, famous 2017 eclipse that everybody's talking about right now and uh, I think it's due to take off right about an hour from now I believe uh, so I figured what better time than to take the day off come to the beach do some hunting and I don't know, maybe some Eclipse magic will, will uh, help me out here a little bit. I've been attempt, uh, detecting for, I don't know, about 20 minutes now. Just found some change, nothing too special. But we'll see what happens. I'll make sure to film the Eclipse as well, because I think that'll be kind of cool to see. Here we go. Uh, it's coming up a quarter to the edge of the water here. We're digging and see what we get. Well, not surprising. It's a quarter. Coming up a penny. Take a look. And it's a penny. Nothing special. One thing I didn't expect was uh, apparently the eclipse really messes with the animals. They, they don't like it. So the seagulls went from swimming peacefully to flying around and acting really strange. <laughs> well, the eclipse hunt ended up turning out to be a bust. Uh, I thought something magical would happen. Uh, turns out quite the opposite. Number one, as far as the hunt goes, pretty much turned up absolutely nothing. I think that beach is really well groomed. In fact, on the way out, I saw a beachcomber that they uh, they must use pretty regularly to uh, sift stuff from the beach. So for future uh, hunts, I'm gonna definitely keep an eye out for that. If I see that, I'm just gonna put my stuff away and not even bother. The second reason it was uh, pretty unlucky is because I, uh, I had my metal detector leaned up against my leg as I was shooting some uh, footage of the uh, eclipse making sure to stand pretty far away from the water's edge. Uh, first time, obviously, my detector fell into the water and figured, hey, I'm not gonna let that happen again. Well, guess what, it happened again. <laughs> I had a kid bump into me who was uh, eagerly watching the eclipse along with me and, 
you know what, plop right into the water again. So it immediately stopped working. The great news is that I, I took it home really quickly, or as quickly, quickly as I could, but about an hour and a half away from the beach, and uh, took it apart, cleaned it up, guess what, works again. So second call out to Garrett for making some amazing equipment. I don't know how this thing really survived two dunks into the water, but it did. Uh, so I'm not gonna go for a third risk. Um, I think that's gonna be it as far as hunting near the water, or if I do, I'm going to make sure to place it at least 10 feet away from the water's edge before I do that. Eventually when I upgrade to a new one, I won't have to worry about this, but for now, it's kind of a big deal. So for now, this is it. Short video today. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribing, guys. Keep digging and I'll talk to you next time.